Hello everybody, welcome back to Rappers Need Beats, where rappers go when they need beats. Today I'm doing this presentation pretty different than what I was doing before. So I'm using MindMeister, it's a tool that you can use to, to graph out and do your tutorials. And what I'm going to demonstrate for you guys today is called the Profit Funnel. And the Profit Funnel is when you use paid traffic and organic traffic to get cold leads to generate them into your warm market and then convert them into sale to put them in your hot market. And as you can see on my right side, I have examples of organic traffic formulas you can use that I have done separate videos on. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, I will be posting these. And you obviously would have your own formulas as well, so you could add on to these. And here on our left side is the paid traffic which is some formulas that I'd explained and I will make videos soon on over here soon if you subscribe to my channel. And all right, let's get started. The profit funnel. So when these profit funnels, you are going to be trying to pull potential clients and it's going to be your potential client starting line, meaning like all these clients are coming from YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Tumblr which these, if you haven't noticed, these are like the main social media channels. <clears throat> the most maturest and the most well-known at this moment, 2017. 2018, probably the same. There still might be more some. But these are the channels that you are pretty much throwing your hook with bait on, all right? So that being said, you are going to be throwing your ads, your content on your channels and manifesting and building your market on YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Tumblr. Now they ask you, do I have to be on all of them? Yes, you have to be on all of them because you could build a fan base on all of them. And now from there, you are going to be like on your description line, on your bio link, Whatever link you're putting out in those channels, you want this link to be your landing page. It is your website's landing page providing value in exchange for their email address. Okay? And at the same time, when they put in their email address and also come through your landing page, three things happen as soon as that email address goes in. They not just have a chance to make a sale but they become a potential client that had to go through your autoresponder, which also funnels them and makes you see to get results. If they're a tire kicker or a loyal fan that just likes to kick it around, or if they become a sale, and at the same time, they go in your email list, and when they're in their email list, they will be able to get updated, updated with you uh, recently, and at the same time, by doing that, you might be able to convert them to a sale again. Just at this whole entire situation right here, through one click or two clicks of a button, they're ready in your funnel. Landing page. This is very important. Now, from this landing page, they can either get a direct sale right then and there, meaning like, if you're offering something for sale, they could possibly buy it right then and there. Just know if it's too much, they might not buy it. But this landing page is not even meant for you to sell. It's meant for you just to get their email so that you can get the sale later. But just know you could, you could direct sell it right then and there. But this is a page really meant for you just to get a cold market lead so you could generate them into a warm market by providing them value and with providing them value it gets them to engage with you and then you build a relationship now when they opt in their email of course they could probably become a sale but right after that they go to your thank you page and exactly what it says here your thank you page would manifest them into your market community making them a warm market and from that thank you page right you can either make them a sale right or from there they would be manifested to your warm market by being like subscribe to my youtube channel or subscribe to my soundcloud channel right 
or your Facebook fan page. And then from there also, you could introduce them. You could be like step four. Introduce them to what, what I call the sequel to the sequel, which is pretty much a link to another landing page that brings them back here. That is just providing even more value in depth and bonuses of what is provided in this landing page here. For example, if you're doing an album, you can be like, all right, if they're going through this landing page right here and you bring them all the way through here to your thank you page, on the thank you page, you can be like, yo, click this link here and you can get my never released or unreleased EP of four tracks. Buy it now for like $3.99. Or it could be like, watch this never, or watch this music video I haven't released yet. Or it could be like, watch this music video I'm about to drop next month, be the first one to watch it. Boom. You see what I'm saying? With the sequel to the sequel, it's pretty powerful. <clears throat> and also you could also place the bonuses that are obviously displayed within your product, your offering uh, in this landing page here, just to get them all fired up, all right? And the bonus part is that like, you're only competing with yourself now because they're on your landing page. The whole point is to get them away from all the bullshit crap and all the competition in the social media channels, right? You want to get them away from all of the bull crap. And you when they when they come to your channel and, and social media, you want to get them on your website and onto the landing page because now it eliminates the competition. Okay. And then when they come over here, it now seals the deal. You're able to make the handshake with them and somewhat build your trust. Because now in the autoresponder, right? Just know in here, you just have your foot in the door or they, they actually put their foot in the door inside of your door. They put their foot inside of your door. And now in here, you're trying to get their other foot in the door. Once you have their other foot in the door and they're completely inside, you pretty much got the green light to tell them whatever you want them to do. Meaning if you want them to buy something from you, they'll buy something from you. And if they get annoying, exactly what it says right here. You can tell them to go suck a dick or they'll suck a dick themselves and unsubscribe. So right here, after they put their email in, they obviously will get an email back from them, which opts them in to your potential client autoresponder. Now what this autoresponder is, I'm going to make a completely separate video on how you should set up your autoresponder. This is just an overview because I'm just showing you how this whole profit funnel works because this is a funnel within itself. This whole entire potential client autoresponder opt-in would funnel out all of the tire kickers and let you see who are your people who are buying. You can also design your autoresponder to convert tire kickers into sales and then from there you can create a sales funnel to create sales that already bought from you into recurring sales all right that's how powerful the auto responder is the whole goal here is you want to 60 percent to 80 percent focus on sales you got to focus on retargeting and making them a loyal fan too you don't even want to give a fuck about whoever fucking subscribes and just know where it says finished is because in the start of all of this, I don't want to press the back button because it's a lot, but in the start of all of this, it says start where your client starts. This is where they finish. All right. So this is why you want to have your stuff set up before you release anything or else you're just releasing bullshit. Okay. So this is potential client autoresponder. This is right after they put in their email address from the landing page, which is up here. They just submitted their email address in here. And at the same time, while their hand is being held here, this is now what's going on behind the scenes. The autoresponder kicks in and if they make a sale, they also become pixel. What does this mean? Pixeled and traffic retargeted. What this means is that they get pixelated and you fed your pixel within your advertisement pixel within Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever has paid Instagram or P 
paid tra uh, traffic, you know what I mean, or paid advertising. Now, a pixel means that, this is how I see what a pixel means. It means that whatever accounts that bought from you, right, due to the behaviors on the person that was using that account, whatever social media platform, whether Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, wherever that was bought from, let's say if it was one of my beats on my store, let's say that store, the person bought it from Facebook. Facebook is able to replicate the same type of person that bought my type of beat, meaning due to the account's behavior on how it acts from the day it was created to the day it bought my beat, through the algorithm it has, it will duplicate and try will f and it, Facebook will try to find that same exact type of person with the same exact type of behavior who bought that that beat from me and show my ad in front of those people so I have a more likely chance to make a sale. That's what it means to have your your ads pixeled. That's so effective. So imagine if you have 100 people that bought from you and that's all pixelated. So that means Facebook has 100 accounts to tap into to look at the behavior of all of those accounts and be like, all right, I'm gonna sell this guy's beats and place this guy's ads in front of these type of people. So that's 100 type of people that get to see that ad. So imagine if that 100 turned into 1,000 people who ended up buying and now it fed 1,000 pixels you get the picture what I'm saying now. The picture, <laughs> pixel of what I'm saying. Picture what I'm saying. You see what I mean? That's why you wanna get these Facebook pixels or Twitter pixel, just selling beats on paid traffic because of the whole pixel. And you will be able to make recurring sales through your email list. And from that email list, you will be able to have custom autoresponders and your custom autoresponder will be specifically giving discounts to people that have been buying from you. And let's say if they don't make a sale, they become a loyal fan, which makes them get stuck into this potential autoresponder. And they'll also get retargeted from traffic if they're going to social media. And if they unsubscribe, exactly, they could go suck a dick. Now, this is very important. This is the last one. After they put their email in, they're also going to be part of your email list. And within these email lists, you want to have three email lists. Although it says three, like, tri-weekly campaigns, that just means you're going to be posting on three days out of the week. For example, mine is, like, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But really, you want to have three email lists that you want to be building. You want to be building an email list for tire kickers, what I call free downloads or loyal fans. A second one for sales, strictly people that bought from you in your store, so that you can retarget those and focus on those people and make recurring sales. And then you want to make a list for Megalodon giveaways because these people possibly could just like have nothing to do with it, possibly don't even have a passion for it, or possibly like it a little bit and just submitted their email in, try to get a free giveaway from you. And if they win something, they'll win something. But you can make a, you can design your email autoresponder for all three of those and, res and design it so that you can convert every single person from there to be whatever you want them to be. Like for example, if they're a free download, you wanna convert them to possibly, you wanna make that autoresponder to convert them to possibly being a sale. If they're a sale already, you wanna convert them to coming back to your store more often and only want them to buy stuff from you. If they're a, tire, if they're a Megalodon giveaway, your goal is just to get them to become your loyal fan first. It's all patience, guys. You guys are expecting to make money tomorrow. It doesn't really work that way. If you want to make money tomorrow, go do Uber and Lyft or Postmates. Then you'll make money like right on the second. But it exactly is what it is. This is long-term, long strategy on how to make money. And from there, when they get into this email list and you have those three email lists made, you want to do a tri-weekly campaign, giving them updates all throughout the time within the week and you're not going to be bothering them as much there's seven days out of the week you're only contacting them three times let the, let the ideas and providing value of what you give to them linger into their head and from there you're going to be giving them updates giving them pixels to put your traffic around them in social media especially if you got paid traffic you'll either make them into a sale which puts them into the sale email 
email list, gets them uh, pixeled for all your Facebook stuff, and gets them into your customer autoresponder giving discounts. They'll become a loyal fan, or they'll, uns they'll just unsubscribe, and you can just tell them to suck a dick, and they'll see your success just rise to the top. Right? Now, I pretty much put a whole zoom out view for all you guys to look at it. You guys could now full screen your whole entire computer. I'll put my cursor even out of there. Oh, fuck. I fucked it up. Put my cursor to the side. Now, you guys could take a big, huge screenshot. Pat me yourself on the back for going through this whole entire video with me. And that's pretty much it, guys. Screenshot this, this picture. Uh, use this formula and I'm providing it for you guys for free I kid you not there's a lot of marketers that would get pissed at me for showing this to you guys but I don't give a fuck so I hope you guys enjoy well to close this up if you're an independent or major label recording artist and you need a professional social media internet marketing agent please don't hesitate and hit my agency website on the link below. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope it taught you something that you didn't even know. Please leave a comment below and give a thumbs up if you thought this was dope. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Vibes Detox signing out.